To achieve this style, I'm starting out with blow dried hair. You want to make sure your hair is as stretched as you can get it. I'm going to be using Eco Styler Gel Flaxseed Curl Enhancing Smoothie, uh, some John Frieda Frizz Ease, some Lotta Body Mousse, and of course, Bobby Pins. I'm going to give myself a side part, then I'm going to part my hair separating the front from the back. I'm splitting the back in half because I'm going to be flat twisting it in layers. This is going to give me maximum volume. Next, I'm going to detangle my hair to make sure there aren't any knots or kinks. Now I'm going to part my hair to get ready for the flat twist. I'm going to be using this curl enhancing smoothie along with some eco style styler gel. And I'm just going to mix these two. I just realized I flipped y'all off my bed. <laughs> I'm going to mix those two together and um, distribute it throughout my hair. When I do my flat twist, I, I like to start at the very top. I'm going to twist that little small section about two times, and then I'm going to work my way down, grabbing small pieces as I move along. Once I'm done flat twisting, to the scalp, I just add a little bit more product to the end of my hair and just continue to twist all the way down. Now I'm going to roll the end with this yellow perm rod. I'm going to take that twist, I'm going to twist it in the direction that it's going, then I'm going to pin it down. And this is going to give me uh, all of my length to make sure that my roots stay tight. And I'm just going to proceed with finishing up that back section following those same steps. All right, the first layer has been completed and this is what it looks like. I have not mastered flat twisting yet, but this will do the job. Now on to the second layer in the back. To take this mousse and I'm going to put a, a generous amount on each section, roots, and ends. Now, notice I am not using this mousse while I'm flat twisting my hair because I don't want it to revert back to its curly state, so I always put it on afterwards. Then I'm just going to follow up with some holding spray. So far, so good, and on to the front. And I'm going to part that section in half as well and do two layers.
right I've installed all my twist I still have one side to do but I'm not going to flat twist it instead I'm going to just braid the side of it I think because y'all know I gotta have some braids whenever I do a style so I'm just gonna put three medium sized braids on that side um, and then I'm gonna twist the ends of that just as I did the other part of my hair Before I go to bed, I'm going to tie my edges up and put on a large satin bonnet. After letting my hair set overnight, this is what my twists look like. As you can tell, they're very bouncy and fluffy and that just lets me know that my twist out is probably going to come out the way I want it. I'm going to take the back down first. I'm just going to clip the rest of my hair up. I'm going to take this Jamaican black castor oil and just apply, put a little bit on my fingers just to reduce frizz as I'm taking my hair down. So for me to get max definition, I want to make the takedown as clean as possible. So I'm only going to separate my hair where it naturally wants to split. So as I unravel the twist, you see that gap? I'm only going to split it right there where that gap is. And I'm not going to uh, separate it any further. So every I'm going to twist my hair in the opposite direction that I twisted it so I can see where the gaps are and then I just pull them apart. Hey, sometimes I've got to fake it till I make it so I'm going to make my hair appear longer by pinning down the roots. Again, you're going to turn the hair in the opposite direction that it's twisted and wherever you see a gap, you're going to put your finger through that gap and pull that small section separating it from the rest of the twist. Alright, the back is done and I'm just fluffing it with my fingers a little bit and as you can see it's got a lot of body to it. Very soft and fluffy. And now I'm just going to finish taking all of it down. Lastly, I'm going to go back in with some holding spray just to make sure my curls stay in place all day. And this is the final result. I've got maximum volume because I flat twisted my hair in layers. I've got max definition because of the unraveling technique I used. And I've got maximum length because I pinned those roots down. So I'm very happy with the results. Hopefully I can preserve these curls for about two to three days. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, please don't hit please don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys on the next video.